good friend of yours, Aaron, was telling us that he uh, took you book shopping at Barnes and Noble. Um, uh, he didn't take me. Um, he, he brought me some books and, and gave them to me. Did, did you guys go to Barnes and Noble? Uh, I didn't. He, no. He, nah. he, he did, maybe. What uh, books did he give you? A whole list of them. Um, it's probably like 20 books or so, so I can't tell you all the names of them. Um, but, you know, I started reading them um, and had reached out to him uh, during training camp, um, just asked him about some, some stuff and got some, some personal stuff that he dealt with and um, kind of just figure out, you know, where he saw his growth as a person off the field. Um, and we were just talking about some of that stuff. And then um, he said he wanted to give me some books to, to read because I asked him about, you know, what books he read when he was, you know, figuring out some of his stuff along his way um, of his, you know, long career of football. Um, and, you know, he brought me a nice collection of books to, to start reading. So. Aaron also said it seems like you're just kind of in a different headspace, and then Matt said the same thing. It seems like I know you kind of elevated your practice efforts and everything like that. Is that something that you feel you've done, or do you feel a difference in that sense? No, not necessarily. Um, obviously, you just want to keep getting better year in and year out. You know, just keep growing as a player on and off the field. So it's not anything that I've, you know, done um, to say, yeah, I want to be a, a better player, a better person. Um, just wanted to keep growing and keep getting better. So that's kind of been the, the motto. What's changed for you then, from this, from last season to this season? Time. <laughs> um, that's about it. There's not really uh, anything past that, you know. Um, you know. I'm still the same guy. Um, you know, nothing has, haven't, haven't done anything different in the off season. You know, it's not like I changed my workout habits or anything in that nature. Um, it just continue to grow as a person. You learn different things. You know, you get taught things from you know, older vets who've been in the room and been in your position. Um, and you just kind of adapt it and, and keep rolling. How high is your confidence right now after the season you had last year down the stretch and can't you have some fun? The same as it's always been. High. <laughs> there's, there's no time where um, my confidence is low. Um, you know, contrary to popular belief, uh, my confidence is always high, um, no matter what's going on. You know, no matter if it's a drop ball or a missed block. Um, Confidence is always going to be high because you can't play this position um, without confidence. And so, you know, mine is going to always be high. You know, I'm always going to believe in myself. And not one person on this planet can be hard on me than I can be harder on myself. Um, so anything that y'all say or my teammates say or anybody else says, it won't ever affect me because I probably already said it to myself a thousand times. Um, so it won't ever have an effect on my confidence ever. Yeah, I mean, I think it's uh, super competitive. Um, I mean, obviously, I think we got the best wide out room in the National Football League. Um, said that last year, and I'll say it again. Um, you know, obviously, had the best offense. You know, so Aaron wasn't throwing to himself. Uh, so you know, it was one of those things. And obviously, you know, Devontae being, you know, literally the best wide out in the game. Um, it makes it pretty easy. Um, and then having a Hall of Fame quarterback makes it a little bit easier. So. Mark was obviously being a Florida guy, the heat down there is a little different. I know five years ago when this team opened down there, that they had some temperature gauges on the field that said like 108 degrees. With you guys now going to Jacksonville, how big of a, a difference is that for your teammates who aren't used to that? I know you've had more experience with it than they have. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I've lived in Florida my whole life, played my college football down there as well. Um, it's different, you know, um, but what can you do? Um, they got to play in it too, so it's not like, you know, we're going there and, and they're not, you know, so they got to play in it too, and it's going to be an adjustment for them um, just as much as it is for us. So you got to go out and hydrate and go out and play football, you know. We'll be all right. What does it mean for you to, to hear some of the praise coming from you know, your head coach and, and your Aaron Rodgers and how they see you grow pretty much over the offseason? Uh, I don't really listen to it, to be honest. Um, like I said, I'm my own biggest critic, you know, good or bad. Um, so, you know, I'm always grateful for, you know, the, the praise that, you know, my teammates gave me because that's the most important thing and obviously my coaches. Um, but, you know, it, it all starts internally for me. And I always believe in myself. So that's kind of my, always my focus, you know, period, point blank, that I'm going I'm to always be myself. And, you know, I know what I can do. I know my ability and I know what I'm capable of, you know. So it's not new to me. Um, it's expected out of me, so that's the difference. Well, boys, I know that you, you say that you're the same guy, but, but Aaron said something quite different. He said that there was times in the past that he didn't know if you were a guy that 
could be counted on, and there's zero question about that now. You think you're a huge role in this offense, and I mean, you've kind of indicated as some change. What, what what do you think has changed to, to go from that place to where he is now in, in his mind? Well, I mean, obviously, the time he was referring to was my rookie year. You know, there's a lot of things going on during that time, um, you know, with everything, with the football team, um, with the coaching change, you know, just a lot of stuff that was going on. Um, you know, so I think that's the time he was referring to. Um, but, you know, obviously just growth. And, you know, like I said, it's not anything different. Like I said, I've been the same guy. Um, there's a lot of factors that go into, you know, those conversations that he has or those thoughts um, or perceptions that he has of me during that time. Um, but then obviously just the opportunities that you get. Um, and obviously my rookie year, the opportunities were a lot limited um, compared to the ones that I get now. So. Do you feel any looser in, in this camp now that you, you said time? You know, you're not a rookie anymore. You're, you're a vet. You're a leader. Do, do you feel any looser and, and, and more able to let your personality show? Maybe? Um, I mean, no, nah, like I said, I'm, I'm always going to be myself. I mean, obviously, as a rookie, you know, you come in and you're just trying to figure it out, you know, how to practice, how to be a pro, where do I go, how do I, you know, get my food, you know, all those things. Um, but, you know, obviously, you know, being into year four, um, which is just crazy to think about. Um, being into year four, you, you're you settled, you know, and I think that's just the, the biggest thing. You, you know what's going on, you know what to expect, you know what's expected out of you, and just be yourself. Um, you're not trying to figure it out anymore. But you, you've caught the ball really well this summer, like really well. Is there anything you can do to improve your hands other than just catching footballs? Is it as simple as that, or is there something, something else to just it? Just catch footballs. Um, and like I said, I've always believed in my hands. Um, and like I said, it's just about opportunities. Um, and I think that's just what it boils down to. You know, you, just, you never drop a ball. Um, I think Devontae told me this a couple, uh, we, we helped, helped the whole room this, um, but it was a quote that he got from, I want to say either Randy Moss um, or someone, someone else, um, Jay Rice maybe, I think it was Jay Rice. Um, yeah, so just saying that um, catching the ball is something that you, you do because you've seen it a thousand times. Um, and so just, Catching balls repetitively is just kind of how you got to get better at, at doing it. Um, but it's not anything that I did any different in the offseason. Um, I actually took a lot more time away from football this offseason than I ever have. So maybe that was it. I don't know. Last year, you guys already had the number one offense in the league. You do take that next step that everybody's been uh, seeing and talking about. How dangerous can this offense be? Um, I mean, I they can get higher than number one. So I don't know. <laughs> I think number one's the, the highest you can get. Um, and Regards to that was so I guess maybe 0. 0.5 I don't know <laughs> I don't know I guess that's it you know just obviously uh, being the number one offense is is huge um, but there's a lot more out there um, we left some points out on the field at times um, left some plays out there um, but I think we do a really good job of everyone just accepting their roles and what they do on this offense um, and I think that's why we've been so successful um, and guys just playing for one another, um, you know, play in and play out. So, you know, I can really care less about, you know, the statistical part of it, you know, whether I have, you know, 10 catches or one catch, as long as we win the game. Um, and I think that's kind of what our whole offense has bought into um, because, like I said, we, we have a real brotherhood. I and mean, you can see it, you know, guys giving it their all for one another every single play. You know, you got Aaron Jones, you know, blocking 50 yards down the field um, and then, you know, running 50 yards down the field and have someone else blocking for him. So it's the same kind of mindset that, you know, that we all have and the brotherhood that we all care about one another and want to see each other succeed. Mark, how fast is Eric Stokes? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he's usually behind me, so I can't really tell you. What's it been like to go against the rookies in practice this year? I know you were two or two passes play ball. Um, no, nah, I mean, like I said, I think he's a, I think he's going to be a really good player. Um, obviously, he has a really competitive room as well, um, and a, a really, really good DB coach, um, who's you know one of the best in the league at you know getting his guys prepared. And we got a really good secondary, and I think that him being able to come in and just compete against you know obviously you don't get to see Aaron Rodgers every single day unless you play here, and so just having to go out against a guy like that, you know, it's only going to make you better. And I think he's going to continue to, to grow and be a great player for this football team. I'm going to kind of throw a hypothetical at you. Play secondary coach for me. How do you defend the group you have? Um, you sack the quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
you don't defend us. You sack the quarterback. That's how, that's how you defend us. Um, if you don't sack the quarterback, you don't defend us. And I think that's just kind of what we've shown. Um, and I think we got a, a really good room, man, because everyone does something different. Um, literally every single one in our room just has a unique skill set that can't be matched. Um, you know, just between, you know, obviously Randall being a, a 10 year vet can do anything in the slot. And then Allen just being a, a physical specimen just to do whatever he wants to any defender, me being able to run by anybody. And then obviously Devontae is just Devontae. So, you know, having, having a room like that, um, it, it's tough to, to defend. I mean, we've shown that. And then obviously we got great weapons on every single part of our offense, you know, between obviously the greatest quarterback to ever throw a football and then um, you know, our running backs and tight ends. Like, I mean, there's, it's hard to stop our offense, which is why we were the number one offense last year. Matt, talk about you, just your cutting, your, your routes, your breaks, things like that that have really shown dramatic improvement. Do you expect um, more of the field will be open for you for targets this year rather than 20 plus gets down the seams? I have no idea. Um, I hope so. Um, but, you know, like I said, I'm going to take advantage of every opportunity that I get, you know, whether it's, you know, 100 footballs or 20 footballs, you know, I want to, you know, make the most of them and go out and, and win games. Buzz, you put yourself in a position with a free agency coming up to be a hot commodity next off season and make untold gobs of money. You thought about that at all? Mm -mm. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's 365 days from now, you know, so I don't really care. Like I said, I want to win a Super Bowl. So that's kind of the, the focus, you know, all the other stuff to take care of itself when it's supposed to, uh, but that's, eight, nine months from now to even be having those conversations, you know, so who knows what will happen by then. Not a fortune teller or a future you know, speaker, so kind of just focus on today. Okay, I remember um, back in 14, Randall was in that position, and he said it bothered him. He said there was a special early in the season where it was, it was just, it was on his mind and it affected this play. So how do you keep your mindset not like that part of it? Um, well, I mean, I can't speak for Randall and what he was thinking about, um, but for myself, like I said, I, I've never been a guy to be concerned with, you know, stats or money. Like I said, it'll take care of itself. Um, you know, I think I do a good job off the field to, you know, not have to worry about where my next paycheck is going to come from. So whether that's, you know, $100 million or $5 million, I can really care less. You know, I'll be good. You know, money isn't going to define, you know, who I am as a person or a player, you know, so whether Whatever that comes is when it comes. Was there a reason you, you wanted to take more time away from football this offseason? Was there anything that you did to, to kind of fill that time that you wouldn't have done in the past? Um, well, the season was just long. It was just super, super long. Um, and then obviously with COVID, you know, I was just away from everyone, you know, just not even having fans around. It was just like I just hadn't seen anyone, you know, for months and months and months. So just being able to go home and enjoy my family and just enjoy some free time, you know, travel the world, see some stuff, um, you know, just kind of get away from it. Like I said, football is football. It's going to always be football. You know, I know how to line up and, you know, run fast and catch a football. Um, but you don't get to take those moments for granted when you get to spend with your family and friends. How's the new puppy? He's great. He is great. Um, he is a ball of energy um, and he gets on my other dog's nerves. He's just nonstop biting his ears, biting his tail. Uh, but he he loves them, so you know it's it's great to have another puppy in the house. Um, you know it gets pretty lonely in Green Bay, <laughs> so just having you know two dogs to keep me company and uh, hang out and do stuff and you know go to the dog park and watch them run around. It's always fun. Anything else from in the room? All right, Sarah, we got one on Zoom. Before, you said Aaron had learned so many books, you can't name them all, but I didn't know if you had time to read any of them yet or if there was anything that stood out, anything you've read so far that you recommend to you. Um, I mean, yeah, I've started some books, um, kind of been bouncing around, you know, leaving some, some place markers in there, highlighting some stuff. Um, but it's not one specific book that's like, you know, stood out where I'm like, yeah, this is the book that's going to change my life. Um, you know, they're just. A lot of uh, books about just you know progressing as a as a person you know and you know how to find the balance and peace in your life and um, just find a, a balance and a center point to kind of focus on um, and so that's kind of what the books have been about and, and I've been reading them and uh, we'll see where they take me.